Welcome to Fred Live Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrants. Well, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of miss the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice all you could shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in a good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction. Peep shows and organized crime. <laughs> the teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The New London Patriots take on the New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, go game up, man. I can't. Come on. Get out there. 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 The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it doesn't always pay off. And he's off to the races. The 10. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he burst through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. He's at the 30. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where?
And it's first and ten. He sends it in there for a four yard gain. Second down and six. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Bill, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and six. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. First and four. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Second down in a lot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And that'll be second and eight to go. his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of a... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! <laughs> and it's first and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. Second down and long. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? That's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Murphy Brown! What? Uh, bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last... And 
It's first and ten. the taco truck. Raccoon Raby Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and forever. And he's running like a moose right now. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Must be their lucky day. The offense. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. Left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. You never know. Big 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defender. That oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock-blocked the clock. I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That was the leg, you moron. That was tripod. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah. The message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Uh, yeah. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. A lot of game is this close as the score indicates. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Team he's on. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Ah, another and a 
interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him not to play. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still work on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft up right on this asshole. Hey, man, I was going to get him now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. with me the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team so it's up to the next man to replace him yeah what exactly is a burn returner grim you now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense they have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league the next man up just sat back down on the bench he probably cramped his pants and it's first and ten Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. was stuck to him like glue. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Five-yard gain on that. 
Good pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be more than a Jumbotron. Now, the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this Ackman. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. And he just wrestles away from the... Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Uh, uh. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw him. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! And he rumbled that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching his cheeks, though. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first.
first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Interception. This quarterback is going to look, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again. Here, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me speedy. That's a catch for a four-yard game. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Now just oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, don't, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense, oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Just follow the bloody footprint. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Quinn. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Quinn. It's the third set of hands he's had sewn on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Bam! 
Boom! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite him. The offense has it. That was a close one. And then Cats will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> and the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. <laughs> Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger. The New York were eviscerated today and leave a wake of blood and tendons in this forfeit loss. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the city alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...